All right, let's have a look at this question. Um, okay, this question is a bit spatial. The student sent to me, the student told me this is the SPM question because normally the SPM question, right, you will not see the uh, ln fx. Okay, just in case some SPM student do not know what is ln fx, basically ln is the log base e. Okay, so like ln fx is basically the uh, log base e for any fx equation here. Okay, so... Yeah, before I start to do this question, right, I want to make a little bit of uh, correction here because I realized the teacher accidentally put an A here. A should be the constant, I guess. So if this one has the A here, then you should add the A in front of here. Okay, but normally, like I see this formula uh, always, uh, it shouldn't have the A here. So an A is constant. If you want, normally we will put the AR side. So yeah, at least here, I want you to know is whenever you integrate F prime X, over fx dx side, you will get uh, ln fx plus c. La. Okay, this is the standard equation. Okay, this is a sort of the formula to help you to uh, solve later. You Here you have uh, 2 over x, you need to integrate 2 over x, you will get a ln x. I will explain later. Okay, let's start by doing this question first. Okay, so for this kind of question, right, they ask us to find the exact area of the shaded region. Give your answer in this form. So. Yeah, we want to find the whole shadow area here. So my first sense tell me that I need to find the intersection point. Okay, I want to know what is exactly this x value. Then I can use the triangle plus the area under the curve. Right, you should be able to see the logic, right? Okay, so in order to find the intersection point, we'll just sub one equation into another equation. Then x will equals to, uh, my y is 5x minus 3 equals to 2. All right, then 5x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals to 0. I will factorize this one. I will get 5x and x. And then this one should be 2 and 1 minus and plus. Right, so here I will get x equals to negative 2 over 5 and x equals to 1. All right, so based on this position, I know it's not possible to be negative with it. So I will reject this answer. So I only have one coordinate here, which is 1. Right, then the next coordinate I want to find is the point B, which is the x-intercept. X-intercept is quite easy. X-intercept of this line basically means what? The y will equal to 0, isn't it? So I just need to make the uh, y 0 equals to 5x minus 3. Then x will be 3 over 5. All right, then I got another coordinate, 3 over 5 here. And this one is 3 is already given. All right, so right now what I want to do is I want to find the area of triangle. So the triangle is basically is half time base time height because this is right angle triangle. This one is 1 minus 3 over 5. You should get 2 over 5 here. And then the height here, we need to find the y coordinate for this one. So I sub into, yeah, into this equation. 1, y equals to 2. y will equals to 2, right? So this coordinate is 1, 2. So I know here will be 2. And then the height will be 2. So this area of this triangle is quite easy, right? Half time 2 over 5 times 2. So you should get uh, 2 over 5 here. Okay, so yeah, now I found the area of triangle. <laughs> My 2 over 5 look like so ugly. 2 over 5. All right, then this is 2 over 5. So yeah, we've done the triangle. Now we need to find the area under the curve. Alright, so the area under the curve, right? So what we want to do is we need to integrate this equation, right? Uh, x, y equals to 2. So if I simplify this one, uh, x, y equals to 2, y should equals to 2 over x. Alright, so because a lot of students, they just ignore about this formula, they say, sir, I can straight away integrate this one. But if you try to integrate this one, you realize something kind of weird here. If I take out the 2, this is 1 over x, right? Then this is 2 x power negative 1. Okay, integration law tell you what? Power plus 1 divided by total power. But if you plus 1 here, you get x power of 0. x power of 0, then it's 1 here. So yeah, this is something you must be very careful. In the future, I mean, STPM or university level, you will always see something like this. So normally, I will just tell my student, if you after you integrate, you realize you get something like x power of 0, then you know there's something wrong. So you need to use the lon. Right, so over here, how are we going to do this one? Okay, if you want to use this integration law here, okay, what we want to do is, I will assume the bottom one is my fx. 
And then the numerator must be the different shape version of my fx, which is f prime x. So if let's say fx equals to x, if I differentiate fx, what do I get? I get 1, isn't it? It's exactly the same. So if the numerator is the differentiation of the denominator, then I can say this one is the ln fx. Okay, so I take out the 2 already. So this one after integrate, right, I can say this one should be the ln fx. What is my fx? My fx is x, isn't it? So it's ln x. No need to plus c if we have the limit from 1 to 3, isn't it? This one x equals to 3. So here is from 1 to 3. So this one will be 1 to 3 like this. Okay, so when we do this one, um, it's just bracket ln 3 minus ln 1. Right, you type in the calculator, you should know ln 1 is basically is a 0 here. So this is 2 ln 3. Okay, so this one is 2 ln 3 as a final answer. But the question asks you to leave like this. So I do not want to have 2 ln 3. So I will further simplify. Log root tell me that power I can move up become the power. Uh, I mean number in front I can move up become the power in it. So this is ln 3 square. So which is ln 9. So therefore... The, they want the exact area, so we cannot type the ln 9 into the calculator and somehow we want to leave our answer in this form, isn't it? So therefore, my final answer is the area will be 2 over 5 plus ln 9. Right, yeah, this is how we solve this kind of question. I will not say this question is very hard and you ask me is it possible for SPM student to do it if the formula is provided and you understand what is going on in this formula I think it's still possible all right if you have more questions on how to do this kind of question you please post at the comment below or else I will see you in the next video bye bye